this guest. He's a numbers guy, and I think this has a lot to do with numbers. Please welcome to the show America's accountant, Mr. Dan Geltrude. Dan, I, I, I of, I've often said tongue-in-cheek about um, stock pickers and stock guys, right? And it's always, to me, easy to guess what the stock market's going to do if you have a population that's always growing, if you know what I'm saying, right? Now, yes, every now and again, you're going to have a downdraft. But if you want your stock market to rally, just make sure your population's rallying, too. What say you? Well, when you talk about increased birth rates and that being the outcome that you want, it actually requires societal changes. And what do I mean by that? Well, when you look at how society is, we are having children older, which lends itself to perhaps more difficulties in having children or simply not wanting to have more. You also have people that are not getting married and they're still having children. Another reason why you may have less. And if you look back over time, going way back, why were couples having more children and families had more children? Well, part of that, Scott, was they actually needed the children to help support the family. Now that's kind of reversed, right? Because we've gotten to a situation now where couples have difficulty in supporting these children. It's just too expensive. If you look at how much the cost of education alone is, people are looking at that and saying, well, wait a minute. It's not a matter of having kids to help us survive. It's a matter of we need to have less kids to be able to survive. So I think Elon Musk is really on to something here, and it's, and it's a real problem. I think you just made a huge point, and my only question to you would be then, how does that change? Are we going to have to wait and see the, mat, the natural market weed out these, really, these $90,000 a year uh, uh, universities I mean, and where people just don't show up and go anymore, where they have to bring their prices down? I mean, how do we protect, uh, correct this societal change you talk about? Well, you can make those changes, Scott, particularly about the cost of education. But that requires some guts here, right? You essentially have to stand up to the universities and say, we're going to actually pick our educational path a little bit more intelligently, meaning making use of like community colleges and other other things like that in order to bring down the demand so that the prices uh, can come down. Uh, look, Scott, we're already seeing a financial collapse, and all you have to do is look at Social Security. You simply don't have enough people paying in to be able to support the number of retirees that are pulling out of the system. And to your earlier point, how does that play into immigration? Well, that's another way to do this. If you have legal and proper immigration, you can plug this a little bit because you could have people coming into the system that want to work and, just as important, can pay taxes to sustain the spending. Right, and that's what they want them to do, is they want them absolutely to spend. I, I, think, I think you've really touched on something big there, because, uh, you know, we had a farm, and I would have loved to have had a few more brothers and sisters at points in time because of uh, what we had to get done around there. But at the same time, um, it has totally switched now because people are now having less kids because they can't afford them. We're back uh, 60, 70 years ago, you had more kids because you needed the help. That is, I don't think that there's any way that you can bridge the gap between those two right now. You probably can't because you would really have to talk about how do you bring down costs overall. But we've already created something you can't undo. Just something as simple as uh, minimum wage going up and up and up. When you start to push wages up that far, Scott, you can't reverse that unless you're going to replace workers, then people aren't working. So this whole cycle, yes, very difficult to undo based on where we are now. Yeah, I mean, talk about, I mean, that, that's not a good situation to be in because we're going to need some drastic changes, and I'm going to talk about it sometime during the week here, but yeah, we can't keep, spend, I mean, we had Leon Cooperman, I don't know if you saw him come out today, what he said about this, it's unsustainable what we're doing as far as what money we're spending. You know, we go into debt every 100 days by another trillion dollars. It's just, I, mean, I don't know what to say about it except for we need to be shut